make sure that you know these folks are cared for that don't that are sometimes forgotten because they are elderly um, or may not have any family so sometimes they're just forgotten ask most people what the department of social services does and they'll probably say something along the lines of food stamps and foster care the thought of grown adults and elderly citizens who need assistance or even full guardianship doesn't usually register as a high priority with the general public. However, according to Sharon Alexander and her staff, the number of people needing those services is much higher than you might think. With the guardianship caseloads, there are about 85 clients that we're actively serving as guardian for. With the adult foster care project, this year we served 135 residents within Pitt County facilities. Sharon is a social work supervisor with Pitt County DSS, and part of her regular duties involves overseeing the Adult Services Division. Adult Services is comprised of guardianship social workers and adult home specialists. Within the Services Division, we have two social workers that are the adult home specialists that actually go out and monitor the rest homes and have the primary focus of the Adult Foster Care Project. We have four social workers that are guardianship social workers. Between just six employees, the division still serves a wide array of clients with an equally wide range of medical and behavioral needs. Needs are, are monumental. They, we have social workers that are, their caseloads are exploding with uh, just their regular job. We still, the adult home specialists handle any complaints that come in about the rest homes and family care homes from the state, from concerned citizens. These clients have needs year-round, and our, our staff have finite hours. Yet even with the tightest of schedules, social workers like Jennifer Stroud and Tammy Corbett make sure that clients feel like an individual who is cared for, rather than an itemized case number. It really hits home for you how folks don't have family to go home to, um, and they are so truly appreciative of everything that other folks do for them. They get so excited and are so thankful. That's a sentiment that clients like Miss Olivia Carmen tend to agree with. She's called Pitt County home for many decades now. But for citizens like her with no family nearby and disposable incomes of only around $60 a month, something as simple as a sweater given with a smile can mean the world. Well, it feels like that I've known them for a long time, yeah. and they are very, very, very good at their job. Yes, and I admire them, and especially get excited too when I see them. Through programs like Holiday Cheer, social workers go above and beyond the call of duty, gathering donations from the community and pulling double duty as Santa's helpers. They successfully make sure that not only is no client turned away, but no client goes without as well. This is on top of an already packed workload. They have those complaints that are still coming in when they're trying to formalize a Christmas list, to find community partners to sponsor that, that client, and to go out and wrap the gifts. And sometimes we have to shop for them. Sometimes people will just donate money. So we have to go out and do the shopping. The social workers shop, wrap, deliver the packages, and so it's a full-time job just doing that, and that's just November, December. The payoff of these efforts speaks to the quality of our community as a whole. By providing government services with a personal touch of kindness, the most vulnerable of our adult population reflects the best in our society. Without the Adult Services Division and its dedicated staff, many agree the community would be a different place altogether. Well, I don't think it would be as well as it is because you don't run up against, um, you know, people that's genuinely nice. Mm -hmm. And they are genuinely concerned and nice. Yeah.